Let us pray. Spirit of grace, spirit of wisdom, we welcome your presence with us today as we celebrate the dedication, hard work, and accomplishments of these graduates and this institution. May we forever value and, de and desire what has been revealed to us in this community. On this day of endings and beginnings, may this convocation ceremony give us renewed hope, courage, and energy. Amen. Madam Chancellor, honorary degree recipients past and present, honored guests, colleagues, graduates, family and friends, good afternoon. I'm delighted to welcome all of you here to Mount St. Vincent University's Spring 2003 Convocation. Today we celebrate the accomplishments of 600 graduates. And it was with very great pride that we at Mount St. Vincent University extend our congratulations to you, the graduating class of 2003. Let's have a very warm round of applause for this year's graduates. It's always a great pleasure for me to look out from this podium at the start of each of our ceremonies and recognize the family and friends that have come to support our graduates today and my colleagues, the faculty, who have worked with each of you throughout your program. Graduates, I think you recognize as I do that to be here today, you have been supported by the love of family and friends by their support, by their recognition of the sacrifices you have made, of the commitments that you have had to make. And so I'd like to ask you to join with me in acknowledging the support of your family and friends and the work of our faculty that brought you here today. I also want to acknowledge with appreciation all of those who have worked to make the convocation possible. I hardly need say how much work it is to put on uh, a convocation from getting the physical facilities and the audiovisual requirements set up to uh, publicizing the, the event and the graduates. And uh, there are some wonderful stories in the, in the paper today about some of our, our graduates. And so I want to acknowledge all that work. And I also want to acknowledge the work of our registrar, Lynn Terrio, without whose seal of approval, you the graduates literally would not be, uh, be here today. So uh, I want to express my appreciation for that. I also want to acknowledge the presence today of some special guests. We're pleased that Dr. Susan Clark, the Provincial Department of Education, a former dean here at the Mount, was able to join us. I'm also pleased to welcome my colleague, Dr. John Kirk from Dalhousie University. Convocation is also a time not only to recognize our graduates, but also to recognize other important contributions. In the university's 125th anniversary five years ago, we established a volunteer recognition award for exceptional volunteer service. And we were very happy last night to bestow that award on our longtime basketball coach, Rick Plato, and also on a past president of the Alumni Association, Shirley Nicholson. Shirley, please stand and be recognized.
The dedication of volunteers like Rick and Shirley is what allows us to do the things we do so well. We also are very honored today to welcome into the Mount St. Vincent Honorary alumni family four exceptional women. This morning we honored Dr. Cora Greenaway, a key figure in the heritage movement across Canada, among many other accomplishments, and Laura Smith, a celebrated musician and performer. This afternoon, we're delighted to welcome Dr. Margaret Wade Labarge, a world-renowned his medieval historian and tireless community volunteer, and Pamela Wallen, broadcaster, journalist, and diplomat. Each of them will be recognized more formally later in the program, and I know that you will be moved by the commitment and dedication each of these exceptional women has shown to their community, to their profession, to their ongoing work. As well, at this afternoon's ceremony, I want to recognize two other individuals, two members of our faculty, who will be singled out for special recognition later in the program. Uh, Dr. Della Stanley will be recognized for her outstanding commitment to teaching, and Dr. Ron Van Houten will be awarded the Research Excellence Prize. Each will be introduced more formally later. The commitment of Dr. Stanley and Dr. Van Houten exemplifies the commitment of all our faculty members to the pursuit of excellence in their research work, in their scholarship, in their interaction with students, in their teaching. While we are recognizing outstanding faculty, I also want to recognize another colleague and ask him to stand. That's Dr. Reginald Stewart. Reg? Dr. Stewart of our Departments of History and Political Studies has recently won the prestigious Canada-US Fulbright Award, and he will be taking that up that award at the Woodrow Wilson International Center in Washington, D.C. in the winter term of 2004. This is a very prestigious and special honor. Uh, Reg, congratulations. Well, graduates, I hardly need tell you what an important day in your lives this is. And of course, it's more than just the culmination of years of study. It's the start of a new chapter in your life. And I know that you will find that the credentials that you have earned and that you will receive today will open new doors for you to career opportunities and to life's opportunities. You've committed a lot of time energy, uh, money, to getting where you are today. But let me assure you, it is an investment that was well worth making, and it is an investment. Because university graduates like yourselves have prospects of higher lifetime earnings, of employment, as the economy in this part of Canada, in Nova Scotia, grows, Graduates like yourself contribute to a very highly qualified workforce, and that is very attractive to employers, to companies wanting to come here to the province. You are the true drivers of the knowledge-based economy. And in fact, it's interesting to reflect that the university sector in Nova Scotia, in, t in economic terms, is worth about a billion dollars. And this crop of graduates are going to sustain that economic momentum, I know, and make us all very, very proud. During your time at the Mount, I hope you've also uh, grown as individuals. You've certainly learned how to adapt and to change. And we, too, are adapting and changing as an institution. Our new 159-bed residence is just about completed. We have more plans for campus expansion. As some of you know, we've greatly expanded our scholarship and bursary program. And so just as you are on the move, we too, as a university, are on the move. So graduates, your horizons will certainly continue to expand. 
I know that while you've been here, you've attained many personal goals, you've made many good friends, you've met faculty with whom you've interacted and who have encouraged you and will continue to support your career aspirations. And so that close community of friends is, and, and colleagues is one of the very real benefits of having attended a university like Mount St. Vincent where we put a lot of emphasis on personalized education. Education where you get to know your fellow students, where you get to know your faculty, you get to know the staff. And because of that personalized environment, it's a tradition at our convocations to acknowledge the achievements of members of our Mount community and the family connections of our graduates. And so with this in mind, I want to recognize Heather and Holly Bootlier, twin sisters who are receiving their Bachelor of Tourism and Hospitality Management with certificates in business and marketing today. And another set of twin sisters, Sharice and Shonda Dixon, who will be receiving their BA degree. From the Mount community, Stephanie Hale, the scheduling and production officer in the registrar's office will be receiving her Bachelor of Office Administration. Leslie Luke, who has worked in, in the, as a research assistant in our institutional analyst's office, is graduating with her Bachelor of Applied Arts in Child and Youth Study. And Amy Doyle, the daughter of Professor Wendy Doyle of our Business Administration and Tourism Department will be receiving her Bachelor of Public Relations and a certificate in marketing. Graduates, whatever your program of study, wherever your home, today you join a worldwide family of over 18,000 alumni. As I never tire of saying, our alumni are the best ambassadors we could possibly have for Mount St. Vincent University. I can tell people that this is a great university, but it is our product, our graduates, who really speak to that tradition of excellence. And we know that the class of 2003 will be no exception to that uh, high standard of, of ambassadorial role. As alumni, you remain members of the Mount community. That is symbolized in the alumni pin that you will receive as you leave the stage today. Wear it with pride, and we look forward to continuing to learn of your successes, to seeing you at alumni reunions and various gatherings. We hope that the love of learning that you've developed at the Mount and the skills and abilities that you have honed while you have been here will benefit not only you personally, but the communities in which you will continue your lives and careers and the broader society of which you are a part. Please stay in touch. Tell us about the innovative contributions you are making. Find out what's new at the Mount via www.msvu.ca and send us your news. Congratulations again to you all and all the best. Thank you. Madam Chancellor, Madam President, honored guests, honorary degree recipients, family and friends, faculty, and of course graduates, good afternoon. I stand before you today having thought long and hard about the significance of this year 2003 spring convocation. What I have come up with are not a series of finalized answers that pinpoint the exact significance of the day. Instead, I've come up with a series of open-ended questions. First, there are the surface questions that arise that I'm sure we're all thinking at this point. Why have I been dressed in this unfashionable, unbreathable, and uncomfortable gown? <laughs> and furthermore, what's up with this collar or hood? I've been made to pin and repin it for the umpteenth time, and it still doesn't quite seem to look right. Beyond these questions of a rather superficial but honest nature, there are those questions that revolve around learning within academic institutions themselves. 
So what then is today truly about? I delight over the fact that this question would likely be answered differently by each of you. But what I can tell you is what today is about for me. When I was in seventh grade, my French teacher, an individual who will remain nameless, of her I will say one thing at this point, and I hope it won't foreshadow too much of the outcome of my tale. She was certainly not a graduate of Mount St. Vincent University. In any event, our class was presented with an assignment to read and discuss the significance of a poem. So far, so good. The poem was about an ink bottle. La bouteille d'encre, it was called. My response detailed the poem as a metaphorical representation of the imagination, of creativity, and of a continued sense of transformation and possibility. Okay, so I might not have used these particular terms at the time, but the idea was certainly there. It was not, however, so impressive to my teacher. She returned the paper to me with a failing grade and a comment that I'll never forget that read, no, Janice, you're wrong. This is a simple poem and a literal poem that means nothing more than the words on the page. I use this anecdote not because I'm still enraged over the failing grade, although I do suspect that this likely factors in here somewhere. But I use this anecdote because I think it illustrates beautifully what today, as well as the past four years worth of days at Mount St. Vincent University have been all about. These have been a validation of the fact that a poem is never simple in a reductive sense of the word. These have been a validation that meaning always goes beyond the words on a page, and that learning is, in fact, much like the ink bottle, an open-ended, diverse, and imaginative process, a transformative process, a creative process, and a process steeped with endless possibility. As individuals graduating today from Mount St. Vincent, we have been exposed to an overwhelmingly valuable experience of learning. I remember one specific English course I took called Issues in Modern Canadian Literature and Theory. This course consisted not of an exploration of a heritage carefully constructed with moments clipped together to make up a, a cultural and historical discourse. Instead, the course enforced a questioning of the very notions of nation and, his, and heritage themselves. What voices have been silenced under these discourses and whose identities have been left out under the guise of the official text of history? These questions were again posed in a course in contemporary feminist literature and theory. This course explored the works of women from a post-colonial perspective, women who would not be found frequently on undergraduate university syllabi or within typical anthologies of writing and theory. Yet again, whose voices have been silenced in the construction this time of feminism? Whose, perspe whose perspectives have been privileged and who's ignored? Clearly, thinking within the walls of Mount St. Vincent University has been an exercise in the repeated questioning in the repeated opening up of otherwise closed structures of learning, and in the repeated shattering and de deconstruction of definition, discourse, and perspective. Let today go beyond a celebration of this expanded sense of academic learning. Let today become a celebration of the continued expansion of ourselves. In this sense, our, our departure from Mount St. Vincent is an opening rather than a closure. Whether you're leaving today to enter into the dreaded real world, whether you're leaving to pursue further academic endeavors, or whether perhaps, like most of us, you're leaving today with absolutely no clue as to what your future may bring, continue to engage with the world around you as you would within these walls. Continue to question, continue to explore, continue to expand your critical, creative, and analytical forces. Continue to demolish borders and to shatter boundaries. Continue to step outside of yourselves, and most importantly, continue to think in the most boundless possible sense of the word. How then can we apply this all to today, to this year 2003 Spring Convocation? It would seem that this is not so much representative of a closure, a goodbye, a finality, or an outcome. Today is representative of something far more vast, far more infinite, and far more limitless. For me, today is my grade seventh version of the ink bottle revisited. It's a celebration of the inherent complexity of meaning and the absolute enormity of the transformative, imaginative, critical, and creative processes of learning that have come to characterize Mount St. Vincent University. My fellow graduates, let's enjoy today as an acknowledgement of diverse learning that goes far beyond the words on a page or even within a speech. Let's approach today as we re approach the, the remainder of our days as a celebration of possibility, of ceaseless, unthwarted, and never-ending possibility. Good luck to you all, and thank you all for being a part of this.
Madam Vice-Chancellor and President, it is my privilege to present to you the candidates for the Collegiate Honours of Graduation. I attest that they have successfully completed the required courses of study, and I ask that they be awarded the Certificate in Business Administration to David Kelly. The Certificate in Information Technology to Karen Lynn Atkinson. The Diploma in Business Administration to Barbara Power with Distinction. Madam Chancellor, it is my privilege to present to you the candidates for collegiate honors of graduation. I attest that they have successfully completed the required courses of study, and I ask that they be admitted to the baccalaureate degree. Mount St. Vincent University confers the degree of Bachelor of Arts on Angela Akpan. On behalf of the Senate of Mount St. Vincent University, I admit you, Angela, to the degree of Bachelor of Arts with all the rights and privileges pertaining thereto. Congratulations. Natalie Allen. <laughs> Natalie, I confer the degree of Bachelor of Arts. Sarah M. Armstrong, with distinction. Sarah is also the co-recipient of the Walter Shelton Essay Prize. Sarah, I confer the degree of Bachelor of Arts. Congratulations. Charmaine Patricia Bell. Charmaine, I confer the degree of Bachelor of Arts. Kathleen Allison Helena Bonner. <laughs> Kathleen, I confer the degree of Bachelor of Arts. Congratulations, Kathleen. Lorraine Brenton, Lorraine uh, with distinction, and Lorraine is also the recipient of the Sister Francis de Sisi Prize for History. <laughs> Lorraine, I confer the degree of Bachelor of Arts. Congratulations. Amanda Keynes. Amanda, I confer the degree of Bachelor of Arts. Congratulations. April Joan Corkum. April, I confer the degree of Bachelor of Arts. Congratulations. Keegan J. Dawson. Keegan, I confer the degree of Bachelor of Arts. Congratulations. Leslie A. Dodsworth. <laughs> Leslie, I confer the degree of Bachelor of Arts. Congratulations to you. Lisa N. Doucette. <laughs> Lisa, I confer the degree of Bachelor of Arts. Mary Durant. Mary, I confer the degree of Bachelor of Arts. Congratulations, Mary. Irene Nancy Forsey. Irene, I confer the degree of Bachelor of Arts. Congratulations. Kimberly Ann Fralick, with distinction. Kimberly, I confer the degree of Bachelor of Arts. Congratulations, Kimberly. Robin Gorman. 
Rob and I confer the degree of Bachelor of Arts. Congratulations. Jessica Hamburg. <laughs> Jessica, I confer the degree of Bachelor of Arts. Congratulations. Raylene Hopkins. <laughs> Raylene, I confer the degree of Bachelor of Arts. Congratulations. Kristen Hutchinson. Kristen, I confer the degree of Bachelor of Arts. Congratulations. Melanie Johnson. <laughs> Melanie, I confer the degree of Bachelor of Arts. Congratulations. Sarah Ann Johnston. <laughs> Sarah, I confer the degree of Bachelor of Arts. Congratulations. Leslie Allison Jones. Leslie, I confer the degree of Bachelor of Arts. Congratulations. <laughs> Susan M. King. <laughs> Susan, I confer the degree of Bachelor of Arts. Congratulations. Renee Danielle Kipp. <laughs> Renee, I confer the degree of Bachelor of Arts. Congratulations. Mm -hmm. Robin Maureen Levy. Robin, I confer the degree of Bachelor of Arts. Congratulations. Leah M. Lewis. Leah, I confer the degree of Bachelor of Arts. Congratulations. Natasha S. Lockyer. Natasha, I confer the degree of Bachelor of Arts. Congratulations. Wendy Lyons. <laughs> Wendy, I confer the degree of Bachelor of Arts. Congratulations. Sherry L. McKenzie with distinction. <laughs> Sherry, I confer the degree of Bachelor of Arts. Congratulations. Bradley McKinnon. Radway, I confer the degree of Bachelor of Arts. Congratulations to you. Siobhan M. McLean. <laughs> Siobhan, I confer the degree of Bachelor of Arts. Congratulations. Mark McMaster. <laughs> Mark, I confer the degree of Bachelor of Arts. Congratulations to you. Allison McQueen. Allison, I confer the degree of Bachelor of Arts. Congratulations. Shelley Mahan. Shelley, I confer the degree of Bachelor of Arts. Congratulations, Shelley. Donnie Martin. Donnie, I confer the degree of Bachelor of Arts. Congratulations to you. Jennifer Matthews. <laughs> Jennifer, I confer the degree of Bachelor of Arts. Congratulations, Jennifer. Adam W. McCulley. <laughs> Adam, I confer the degree of Bachelor of Arts. Congratulations. Jennifer Kelly Merrick. Jennifer, I confer the degree of Bachelor of Arts. Congratulations. Janice Yvonne Mitchell. <laughs> Janice, I confer the degree of Bachelor of Arts. Congratulations. Joy C. Mitchell McLeod. <laughs> Joy, I confer the degree of Bachelor of Arts. Congratulations. Craig S. Nelson. Craig, I confer the degree of Bachelor of Arts. Congratulations. Megan O'Neill. <laughs> Megan, 
Megan, I confer the degree of Bachelor of Arts. Congratulations. Pamela Parsons. Pamela, I confer the degree of Bachelor of Arts. Congratulations. Aaron Pelham, with distinction. Aaron, I confer the degree of Bachelor of Arts. Congratulations on the distinctions. Nicole Pellerin. Nicole, I confer the degree of Bachelor of Arts. Congratulations. Shonda Peters. Shonda, I confer the degree Bachelor of Arts. Congratulations. Deanna M. Rafuse. Deanna, I confer the degree Bachelor of Arts. Congratulations, Deanna. Danelle Riak. Danelle, I confer the degree Bachelor of Arts. Congratulations. Brittany Robin Rickett, with distinction. Brittany, I confer the degree Bachelor of Arts. Tara Ring, with distinction and with highest aggregate. Tara, I confer the degree Bachelor of Arts. Congratulations. Daniel Sider. Daniel is also the co-recipient of the Walter Shelton Essay Prize. Daniel, I confer the degree of Bachelor of Arts. Congratulations. Tara Leanne Sloan White. Tara, I confer the degree of Bachelor of Arts. Congratulations, Tara. Emily Ruth Smith, with distinction. Emily, I confer the degree of Bachelor of Arts. Congratulations, Emily. Crystal Sponagle. <laughs> Crystal, I confer the degree of Bachelor of Arts. Congratulations. David Gerald Sutherland. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Arts. Congratulations. Jan C. Tanner. Jan also receives a certificate in community residential services today. Jan, I confer the degree of Bachelor of Arts. Congratulations. Joanna L. Tarr. Joanna is also receiving the Certificate in, of Proficiency in French. Jana, I confer the degree of Bachelor of Arts. Congratulations. Carrie J. Taylor. <laughs> Carrie, I confer the degree of Bachelor of Arts. Congratulations. Andrea M. Teal. <laughs> Andrea, I confer the degree of Bachelor of Arts. Tracy Brienne Thompson, with distinction. Tracy is also the recipient of the French Embassy Prize and is also receives a certificate of proficiency in French. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Arts, Tracy. Congratulations. Thank you. Susan Brooks Thompson. Susan, I confer the degree of Bachelor of Arts. Jerry M. Tobin, with distinction, and Jerry also receives a certificate in gerontology today. Jerry, I confer the degree of Bachelor of Arts. Congratulations. Elizabeth Ann Tomlick. Elizabeth, I confer the degree of Bachelor of Arts. Congratulations. Tara Tracy. Tara, I confer the degree of Bachelor of Arts. Congratulations, Tara. Matthew Tucker. Matthew, I confer the degree of Bachelor of Arts. Congratulations. Nicole Lynn Walsh. Nicole, I confer the degree of Bachelor of Arts. Congratulations. Crystal. Alexa Watt, with distinction. 
Krista, I confer the degree of Bachelor of Arts. Congratulations for the distinction. Mount St. Vincent University confers the degree of Bachelor of Arts Advanced Major on Jennifer M. Hall with distinction. Jennifer, on behalf of the Senate of Mount St. Vincent University, I admit you to the degree of Bachelor of Arts Advanced Major with all the rights and privileges pertaining thereto. And congratulations. Melanie Hodenot, with distinction. And Melanie also receives a certificate of proficiency in French with distinction and is the recipient of the Swiss Ambassador's Prize in French. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Arts Advanced Major. Congratulations, Melanie. Abby E. McLean. Abby, I confer the degree of Bachelor of Arts Advanced Major. Congratulations. Sonia Mallet. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Arts Advanced Major. Congratulations, Sonia. Nora M. Malik, with distinction and highest aggregate. And Nora is also the recipient of the Sociology Anthropology Student Prize. Nora, I confer the degree of Bachelor of Arts Advanced Major. Congratulations. Laura Lynn Miller. Laura, I confer the degree of Bachelor of Arts Advanced Major. Congratulations, Laura. Nikki Claire Clough Parliament, with distinction. Nikki, I confer the degree of Bachelor of Arts Advanced Major. Congratulations. Lisa Radden. Lisa, I confer the degree of Advanced Bachelor of Arts Advanced Major. Congratulations. Jolani Chance Rodenizer. Joanne, I confer the degree of Bachelor of Arts Advanced Major. Congratulations. Beth White. Beth, I confer the degree of Bachelor of Arts, Advanced Major. Congratulations. Mount St. Vincent University confers the degree of Bachelor of Arts Honors with first class honors on Matthew A. Boudreau with highest aggregate. <laughs> we'll try. <laughs> Matthew, I confer the degree of Bachelor of Arts with honors. Congratulations. Christine J. Eisen. Christine, I, conf I confer the degree of Bachelor of Arts Honors. Congratulations. Janice Hunt. Janice is also the recipient of the Mrs. Angus L. McDonald Literary Prize and is also the recipient of the S Sister Marie Agnes Prize and recipient of the Beryl Rowland Book Prize. That's lovely. <laughs> Janice? So Janice, I confer the, the degree of Bachelor of Arts with honors. Congratulations. Madam Chancellor, Mount St. Vincent University confers the degree of Bachelor of Applied Arts Child and Youth Study on Rachel Leanne O'Coin. On behalf of the Senate of Mount St. Vincent University, I admit you, Rachel, to the degree of Bachelor of Applied Arts, Child and Youth Study, with all the rights and privileges pertaining thereto. So, congratulations. Amy Frances Beaver. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Arts Bachelor of Applied Arts, Child and Youth Study. Amy, congratulations. Krista L. Bennett. Krista, I confer the degree of Bachelor of Applied Arts, Child and Youth Study. Congratulations. Heather J. Bennett. 
Heather, I confer the degree of Bachelor of Applied Arts, Child and Youth Study. Congratulations. Melissa Brown. Melissa, I confer the degree of Bachelor of Applied Arts, Child and Youth Study. Congratulations. Patty Casely. Patty, I confer the degree of Bachelor of Applied Arts, Child and Youth Study. Congratulations. Carrie College. Carrie, I confer the degree of Bachelor of Applied Arts, Child and Youth Study. Congratulations. Cameron DeBay. Cameron, I confer the degree of Bachelor of Applied Arts, Child and Youth Study. Congratulations. Annette DeVoe, with distinction. Annette, I confer the degree of Bachelor of Applied Arts, Child and Youth Study. Congratulations, Annette. Sarah Elizabeth Dugas. Sarah, I confer the degree of Bachelor of Applied Arts, Child and Youth Study. Congratulations, Sarah. Stacy Collette Eliza Graves Smith. Stacy, I confer the degree of Bachelor of Applied Arts, Child and Youth Study. Congratulations. Angela Marie Henderson. Angela, I confer the degree of Bachelor of Applied Arts, Child and Youth Study. Congratulations. Lisa Marie Hogan. Lisa Marie, I confer the degree of Bachelor of Applied Arts, Child and Youth Study. Congratulations, Lisa. Alana Evelyn Hubley. Alana, I confer the degree of Bachelor of Applied Arts, Child and Youth Study. Congratulations. Holly Huddleston with distinction and highest aggregate. Holly, I confer the degree of Bachelor of Applied Arts, Child and Youth Study. Congratulations. Tannis Lee Hudson. Tannis, I confer the degree of Bachelor of Applied Arts, Child and Youth Study. Congratulations. Tanya Lee Ingalls. Tanya, I confer the degree of Bachelor of Applied Arts, Child and Youth Study. Congratulations to you. Suzanne Margaret Clark Innes. <laughs> Suzanne, I confer the degree of Bachelor of Applied Arts, Child and Youth Study. Congratulations. Jacqueline Lawrence with distinction. Jacqueline, I confer the degree of Bachelor of Applied Arts, Child and Youth Study. Congratulations. Leslie Michelle Luke, with distinction. <laughs> Leslie, I confer the degree of Bachelor of Applied Arts, Child and Youth Study. Congratulations. Alicia Michelle Lovett. <laughs> Alicia, I confer the degree of Bachelor of Applied Arts, Child and Youth Study. Shelley Nicole Manza. Shelley, I confer the degree of Bachelor of Applied Arts, Child and Youth Study. Congratulations. Shelley Nadine Mason. <laughs> Sherry, I confer the degree of Bachelor of Applied Arts, Child and Youth Study. Congratulations, Sherry. Krista Dawn Melanson. Krista, I confer the degree of a Bachelor of Applied Arts, Child and Youth Study. Congratulations, Krista. Christina Millette. <laughs> Christina, I confer the degree of Bachelor of Applied Arts, Child and Youth Study. Congratulations. Patricia A. Norgler. Patricia, I confer the degree of Bachelor of Applied Arts, Child and Youth Study. Congratulations. Natalie R. Pelly. 
Natalie, I confer the degree of Bachelor of Applied Arts, Child and Youth Study. Congratulations, Natalie. Melissa M. Sneath. <laughs> Melissa, I confer the degree of Bachelor of Applied Arts, Child and Youth Study. Congratulations, Melissa. Jennifer Gail Spracklin. Jennifer, I confer the degree of Bachelor of Applied Arts, Child and Youth Study. Congratulations. Thank you. Kelly Storfer. Is that Kelly or Carrie? Kelly. Kelly, I confer the degree of Bachelor of Applied Arts, Child and Youth Study. Congratulations. You. Amanda Tickner. Amanda, I confer the degree of Bachelor of Applied Arts, Child and Youth Study. Congratulations. Maya Van Dyke with distinction. <laughs> Maya, I confer the degree of Bachelor of Applied Arts, Child and Youth Study. Congratulations. Jody White. <laughs> Jody, I confer the degree of Bachelor of Applied Arts, Child and Youth Study. Madam Chancellor, Mount St. Vincent University confers the degree of Bachelor of Applied Arts, Family Studies and Gerontology on Elizabeth Badlow. And Elizabeth is also the recipient of the Community Service Award in Family Studies and Gerontology. Melissa, on behalf of the Senate of Mount St. Vincent University, I admit you to the degree of Bachelor of Applied Arts, Family Studies and Gerontology with all the rights and privileges pertaining thereto. Joanne Brackness. Joanne, I confer the degree of Bachelor of Applied Arts, Family Studies and Gerontology. Laura Lynn Burchill. <laughs> Laura, I confer the degree of Bachelor of Applied Arts, Family Studies and Gerontology. Congratulations. Terry Burton, with distinction. Terry, I confer the degree of Bachelor of Applied Arts, Family Studies, and Gerontology. Congratulations. Erin Christina McKay Desmond. Erin, I confer the degree of Bachelor of Applied Arts, Family Studies, and Gerontology. Congratulations. Erin Fitzgerald. Erin, I confer the degree of Bachelor of Applied Arts, Family Studies and Gerontology. Congratulations, Erin. Elizabeth Saunders. <laughs> Elizabeth, I confer the degree of Bachelor of Applied Arts, Family Studies and Gerontology. Congratulations. Mount St. Vincent University confers the degree of Bachelor of Human Ecology on Anita Vincent. On behalf of the Senate of Mount St. Vincent University, I admit you, Anita, to the degree of Bachelor of Human Ecology with all the rights and privileges pertaining thereto. Congratulations. Mount St. Vincent University confers the degree of Bachelor of Applied Arts Information Technology Cooperative Education Route on Jane A. Dunn. Jane, on behalf of the Senate of Mount St. Vincent University, I admit you to the degree of Bachelor of Applied Arts Information Technology with all the rights and privileges pertaining thereto. And congratulations. Farooz Mothana. <laughs> Farooz, I confer the degree of Bachelor of Applied Arts Information Technology. Congratulations. Mount St. Vincent University confers the degree of Bachelor of Office Administration on Stephanie Hale. <laughs> Stephanie, on behalf of the Senate of Mount St. Vincent University, I admit you to the degree of Bachelor of Office Administration with all the rights and privileges pertaining thereto. Congratulations. Wanda Houlihan.
Wanda Eichenfer, the degree of ba whoops, Bachelor of Office Administration. <laughs> Congratulations. Mount St. Vincent University confers the degree of Bachelor of Business Administration on Russia Al-Aziz. <laughs> on behalf of the Senate of Mount St. Vincent University, I admit you to the degree of Bachelor of Business Administration. <laughs> <laughs> with all the rights and privileges pertaining there to Russia. Congratulations. Rayam Al Ibrahim. <laughs> Rayan? Rayan, I confer the degree of Bachelor of Business Administration. Congratulations. <laughs> On Lee Ann Arab. Is it less than one? Yeah. Lee Ann. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Business Administration. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Tamara E. Arnold with distinction. <laughs> Tamara, I confer the degree of Bachelor of Business Administration. Kirani Burnett with distinction. Kirani, I confer the degree of Bachelor of Business Administration. Congratulations. Ronette Birchall. Yeah. Ronette, I confer the degree of Bachelor of Business Administration. Congratulations. Kelly Chisholm. Kelly, I confer the degree of Bachelor of Business Administration. Congratulations. Tracy Cox. Tracy, I confer the degree of Bachelor of Business Administration. Congratulations, Tracy. Scott Daniels with distinction. Scott, I confer the degree of Bachelor of Business Administration. Congratulations. Angela Earl. Angela, I confer the degree of Bachelor of Business Administration. Congratulations. Shane English with distinction. Shane. Shane, I confer the degree of Bachelor of Business Administration. Congratulations. Ryan Ferguson with distinction. Ryan, I confer the degree of Bachelor of Business Administration. Congratulations. Alison I. Finn. Allison, I confer the degree of Bachelor of Business Administration. Congratulations, Allison. Suzanne M. Fisher. Suzanne, I confer the degree of Bachelor of Business Administration. Congratulations, Suzanne. Jennifer Fitzpatrick. Jennifer, I confer the degree of Bachelor of Business Administration. And congratulations, Jennifer. Angela A. Franklin with distinction. Angela, I confer the degree of Bachelor of Business Administration. Congratulations. Krista L. Gass, and Krista also receives the Certificate in Tourism and Hospitality Management today. Krista, I confer the degree of Bachelor of Business Administration. Congratulations on the certificates too. Katie A. Gibson. Katie, I confer the degree of Bachelor of Business Administration. Congratulations, Katie. Lee's Giffen with distinction, and Lee's also receives the Certificate in Marketing and the Diploma in Tourism and Hospitality Management today. Is that Kate? Lee. Lee's. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Business Administration. Congratulations, Lee's. Amanda E. Green. Amanda, I confer the degree of Bachelor of Business Administration. Congratulations. Janet Handyside with distinction. Janet, I confer the degree of Bachelor of Business Administration. Congratulations, Janet. Emily A. Hiltz. 
Emily, I confer the degree of Bachelor of Business Administration. Congratulations. Todd Houston, and Todd also receives the Certificate in Information Technology today. Todd, I confer the degree of Bachelor of Business Administration. Congratulations. Tyson Rick Langill. Tyson, I confer the degree of Bachelor of Business Administration. Congratulations. Kasia Lezinski. Kasia, I confer the degree of Bachelor of Business Administration. Congratulations. Isabel Lucas. Isabel, I confer the degree of Bachelor of Business Administration. Congratulations. Beth L. McLeod. Beth, I confer the degree of Bachelor of Business Administration. Congratulations, Beth. Julie Ann McLeod, Cooperative Education Option. <laughs> Julie Ann, I confer the degree of Bachelor of Business Administration. Congratulations. Joseph D. Marchand. <laughs> Joseph, I confer the degree of Bachelor of Business Administration. Congratulations. Scott McPhee. Scott, I confer the degree of Bachelor of Business Administration. Congratulations, Scott. Margaret Purchase, with distinction. <laughs> Margaret, I confer the degree of Bachelor of Business Administration. Congratulations on the distinctions. Stephen Robb, with distinction. <laughs> Stephen, I confer the degree of Bachelor of Business Administration. Congratulations on the prize. Danielle Sampson. Danielle, I confer the degree of Bachelor of Business Administration. Congratulations, Danielle. Kevin J. Sanford. Kevin, I confer the degree of Bachelor of Business Administration. Congratulations. Andrew Shepard. Andrew, I confer the degree of Bachelor of Business Administration. Congratulations. Julie Smith, with distinction, and Julie also receives the Diploma in Tourism and Hospitality Management. Julie, I confer the degree of Bachelor of Business Administration. Congratulations on the certificates, too. Andrew Stuckless. <laughs> Andrew, I confer the degree of Bachelor of Business Administration. Tressa Ann St. John, who also receives a certificate in marketing today. Tressa Ann, I confer the degree of Bachelor of Business Administration. Congratulations. Cara Lane Thompson, and Cara also receives a certificate in tourism and hospitality management today. Cara, I confer the degree of Bachelor of Business Administration. Jennifer June Vogley, who also receives a Certificate in Tourism and Hospitality Management. Jennifer, I confer the degree of Bachelor of Business Administration. Congratulations, Jennifer. Catherine Dawn Wilson, who also receives a Certificate in Marketing today. Catherine, I confer the degree of Bachelor of Business Administration. Congratulations, Catherine. Mount St. Vincent University confers the Bachelor of Business Administration honors with first class honors on Vanessa George. <laughs> Vanessa, on behalf of the Senate of Mount St. Vincent University, I admit you to the degree of Bachelor of Business Administration honors with all the rights and privileges pertaining thereto. Congratulations. Madam Chancellor, Mount St. Vincent University confers the degree of public relations on Suzanne Anderson, Cooperative Education Route. Suzanne, on behalf of the Senate of Mount St. Vincent University, I admit you to the degree of Bachelor of Public Relations with all the rights and privileges pertaining thereto. Congratulations. Monique Cassidy, Cooperative Education Route. 
Monique, I confer the degree of Bachelor of Public Relations. Does that sound good? <laughs> Lisa Marie Coleman. Lisa Marie, I confer the degree of Bachelor of Public Relations. Congratulations. Amanda Dean, Cooperative Education Route with Distinction, and Amanda also receives a certificate in marketing today. Amanda, I confer the degree of Bachelor of Public Relations. Congratulations, Amanda. Kelly R. DeVoe, Cooperative Education Route with Distinction. Kelly, I confer the degree of Bachelor of Public Relations. Congratulations. Amy Neela Doyle, Cooperative Education Route, and Amy also receives a certificate in marketing. Amy, I confer the degree of Bachelor of Public Relations. Congratulations. Melissa Leanne Fall. Hi, Melissa. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Public Relations. Congratulations, Melissa. Thanks. Caroline Jessie Gomez. <laughs> Caroline, I confer the degree of Bachelor of Public Relations. Congratulations. Cara Haynes, who also receives a certificate in marketing today. Cara, I confer the degree of Bachelor of Public Relations. Congratulations. Victoria Kirsted. Victoria, I confer the degree of Bachelor of Public Relations. Congratulations. Forrest R. Kenny. Forrest, I confer the degree of Bachelor of Public Relations. Congratulations. Shara Lee A. Carr, who also receives a certificate in marketing. Shara, I confer the degree of Bachelor of Public Relations. Congratulations. Jasmine Marshall. Is it Jasmine? Jasmine, I confer the degree of Bachelor of Public Relations. Congratulations. Angeline McCarthy. Angeline, I confer the degree of Bachelor of Public Relations. Congratulations. Janine McCarthy, with distinction. Janine, I confer the degree of Bachelor of Public Relations. Congratulations. Jennifer Lynn Morrison. Jennifer, I confer the degree of Bachelor of Public Relations. Congratulations. Hyla Ann Nicholson. Is it Kyla? Hyla, I confer the degree of Bachelor of Public Relations. Congratulations. Dawn O'Connor Matthews, Cooperative Education Route. Don, you've already got your public relations. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Public Relations. Congratulations. Tamara Razalowski, who also receives a certificate in marketing today. Tamara? Tamara, I confer the degree of Bachelor of Public Relations. Congratulations. Hope A. Rudolph. Rudolph. Hope, I confer the degree of Bachelor of Public Relations. Congratulations. Elizabeth A. Seymour. Elizabeth, I confer the degree of Bachelor of Public Relations. Congratulations. Nancy Wicks, Cooperative Education Route. Nancy, I confer the degree of Bachelor of Public Relations. Congratulations. Angela C. Wilson, Cooperative Education Route, with distinction and highest aggregate. Angela, I confer the degree of Bachelor of Public Relations. Congratulations. Madam Chancellor, Mount St. Vincent University confers the degree of Bachelor of Tourism and Hospitality Management on Catherine E. Banfield, Cooperative Education Route, who also receives a certificate in business. Catherine, 
On behalf of the Senate of Mount St. Vincent University, I admit you to the degree of Bachelor of Tourism and Hospitality Management with all the rights and privileges pertaining thereto. Congratulations, Catherine. Heather E. Boutlier, Cooperative Education Route, who also receives a Certificate in Business and a Certificate in Marketing. Heather, I confer the degree of Bachelor of Tourism and Hospitality Management. Congratulations. Holly Boutlier, Cooperative Education Route, who also receives a Certificate in Marketing and a Certificate in Business. Holly, I confer the degree of Bachelor of Tourism and Hospitality Management. Congratulations. Adam S. G. Bauer, Cooperative Education Route. Adam, oops. Adam, I confer the degree of Bachelor of Tourism and Hospitality Management. Congratulations, Adam. Angela Christine Capstick, Cooperative Education Route, who also receives a Certificate in Business. Angela, I confer the degree of Bachelor of Tourism and Hospitality Management. Congratulations. Monette Rose Como, Cooperative Education Route, with distinction. Manette, I confer the degree of Bachelor of Tourism and Hospitality Management. Congratulations, Manette. Kerry Lee Foley, Cooperative Education Route, who also receives a Certificate in Business. Kerry Lee, I confer the degree of Bachelor of Tourism and Hospitality Management. Congratulations. Angela Kane, Practical Route with Distinction and Highest Aggregate, who also receives a Certificate in Business. Angela, I confer the degree of Bachelor of Tourism and Hospitality Management. Congratulations, Angela. Erin L. Keating, Cooperative Education Route, who also receives a Certificate in Business. Erin, I confer the degree of Bachelor of Tourism and Hospitality Management. Congratulations on the certificate as well. Kerry L. O'Brien, Cooperative Education Route. <laughs> Kerry, I confer the degree of Bachelor of Tourism and Hospitality Management. Congratulations. Rachel A. Smith, Cooperative Education Route. Rachel, I confer the degree of Bachelor of Tourism and Hospitality Management. Congratulations. Ellen M. Townsend, Cooperative Education Route, who also receives a Certificate in Business and a Certificate in Marketing. Ellen, I confer the degree of Bachelor of Tourism and Hospitality Management. Congratulations on the certificates as well. Madam Chancellor, it is my privilege to present to you the candidates for the Collegiate Honours of Graduation. I attest that they have successfully completed the required courses of study, and I ask that they be admitted to the master's degree. Mount St. Vincent University confers the degree of Master of Arts in Child and Youth Study on Sonia M. Hage Cameron. On behalf of the Senate of Mount St. Vincent University, I admit you, Sonia, to the degree of Master of Arts in Child and Youth Study with all the rights and privileges pertaining thereto. And congratulations, Sonia. Margot Kirk. Margot, I confer the degree of Master of Arts in Child and Youth Study. And congratulations, Margot. Thank you. Madam Chancellor, in addition, we confer the appropriate degrees on all those presented to the University Senate. I confer degrees in absentia on those persons so designated by the Dean. And now for some prizes. The Valedictorian Prize. This provides all valedictorians with a lasting memento of their achievement and contribution to the graduating class. To be chosen valedictorian, 
The student must have maintained a strong academic record, must have been actively involved in a number of extracurricular activities, either on campus or in the community, must have been nominated as a fitting spokesperson for the graduating class by their peers and their faculty, and must have submitted samples of their writing for review. I am pleased to award the valedictorian prize to Janice Hunt. Ja Janice, Janice graduates today with a BA Honours. She was nominated by her professors who describe her as an excellent example of the sort of student in which Mount St. Vincent University prides itself. She is an outstanding student and wonderful writer who is the recipient of the Angus L. MacDonald Literacy Prize. While at the Mount, she has been active in the English Society and a member of the MSVU Mystics basketball team. In the community, she helped organize camps and tournaments to promote sportsmanship in girls in junior high and high school and officiates for both volleyball and basketball leagues. Congratulations, Janice. The, the Kappa Gamma Pi Award. Membership in Kappa Gamma Pi, Honor Society of Catholic Universities for Women, is awarded to graduates who, in addition to high scholastic standing and a good record in extracurricular activities, Give, give promise to academic leadership in the future. The undergraduate Kappa Gamma Pi Award goes to Nora Malik. <laughs> Nora graduates today with a joint major in history and sociology with distinction and with highest aggregate. Her professors regard her as one of their star students. Nora has not only impressed her professors with the high quality of her work in essays, assignments, and examinations, but also with the liveliness of her curiosity and her intellectual engagement with whatever she is studying. In class, she is frequently provocative, arousing her fellow students and her professors to think beyond the strict limits of the matter at hand in responding to her arguments, a mixed blessing at times. Nora is a volunteer for Sidewalker, Riding for the Disabled, which is an organization that seeks to mentally, physically, and emotionally stimulate disabled people through horseback riding. Congratulations, Nora. <laughs> the Senate Medals of Distinction. These engraved pewter awards presented by the Senate of Mount St. Vincent University are given in recognition of superior academic achievement to each student who graduates with distinction and with highest aggregate in undergraduate diploma and degree programs. The master's awards are presented upon recommendation of each department. This year's recipients are, for the Bachelor of Arts, Tara Ring. for the Bachelor of Arts Advanced Major, Nora Malik. For the Bachelor of Arts Honors, Matthew A. Boudreaux. <laughs> For the 
for the Bachelor of Applied, <laughs> Bachelor of Applied Arts, Child and Youth Studies, Holly Huddleston. For the Bachelor of Arts, Bachelor of Applied Arts, Family Studies and Gerontology, Terry Burton. <laughs> For the Bachelor of Applied Arts, Family Studies and Gerontology, Honors, Elizabeth Saunders. For the Bachelor of Business Administration, honors Vanessa George. For the Bachelor of Human Ecology, Anita Vincent. For the Bachelor of Public Relations, Angela C. Wilson. For the Bachelor of Tourism and Hospitality Management, Angela Kane. For the Master of Art, Child and Youth Studies, Margot Kirk. Set up Medals of Distinction are also awarded to Nola Lamaru, Diploma of Business Administration, Jennifer Henderson, Bachelor of Business Administration, Hina Lakwana, Bachelor of Business Administration, St. Martin, and Carrie Lynn Clow, Master of Arts, Women's Studies, who could not attend today. <laughs> the Governor General's Medal. The Graduate Governor's General's Medal. This is a gold medal donated by Her Excellency, the Governor General of Canada, and is given to a graduate student with the highest academic standing in the master's program. The Governor General Medal is awarded to Carrie Lynn Clow, Master of Arts, Women's Studies, who unfortunately could not be with us today. <laughs> the President's Prizes. The President's Prizes are special awards donated by the University President and are awarded to members of the graduating class whose ener energy, generosity, and commitment have enriched the University during their time as students and who show promise that their commitment will continue as alumni. The under, the, there are two, under, there are two uh, undergraduate prizes this year. The first undergraduate prize goes to Kim Fralick, Bachelor of Arts. Kim graduates today with a BA in mathematics with distinction. In addition to maintaining an excellent academic record, Kim has excelled as a student athlete. 
a member of the Mount St. Vincent University Mystics women basketball team for three years, Kim was a major contributor to the team's Atlantic College's Athletic Association championship this year. She was named the ACAA Most Valuable Player for the past two years and is an All-Canadian. This year, she won the Ron Shoveler Memorial Award presented to the player in the ACAA who contributed to sport through academics, athletics, leadership, and sportsmanship. Her coach describes her as just the hardest working person I've ever met. She takes nothing for granted and leads purely by example. Kim also finds time to tutor high school math students. She has been accepted into the BED program at MSVU next year and plans to become a high school math teacher. Congratulations, Kim. The second President's Prize is awarded to Leah Lewis. <laughs> Leah graduates today with a BA in Canadian Studies. A transfer student from the University College of Cape Breton, Leah has made a lasting impression on Mount St. Vincent University in her time here. From the start, she has made an exceptional contribution to university and student affairs. She has been elected to two consecutive terms as student union president. This accomplishment speaks volumes about the respect in which she is held by her peers. Leah has indeed been an outstanding leader of the student body, working hard to increase student involvement in all aspects of the university. She has been a relentless student advocate. For example, as Dr. Sheila Brown, the other president, Notes of her participation in university governments, governance, she is, quote, courageous in her defense of student interests, yet always courteous in her approach to others. Her positions are always well thought out, clearly articulated, and informed by an appreciation of the important role the university can play in the wider community, end of quote. She has received numerous awards during her stay at Mount St. Vincent University. These include the prestigious Student Affairs Award, in recognition of her outstanding student leadership and contribution to the quality of life at Mount St. Vincent, the Pat Butler Prize in recognition of her significant contribution to university governance, and the General Man Manager's Award in recognition of her contribution to student life, to name only a few. Leah is truly an exceptional leader an and an example of the difference one young woman can make to her community. We will all miss Leah but are assured that she will remain a loyal alumni. Congratulations. Madam Chancellor, Madam President, honored guests and graduates. The Mount St. Vincent Alumni Award for Teaching is presented annually in recognition of superior teaching and in appreciation of a faculty member's contributions to the high standards and goals of higher learning of this institution. A committee of faculty, alumni, and students evaluate nominees through classroom observation a philosophy statement on teaching and personal interviews. Candidates are assessed on their concern and attention to student needs, their successful communication of subject matter, and the reputation they have earned for superior teaching from students and colleagues alike. On behalf of the Mount St. Vincent Alumni Association, it is an honor to present this year's Alumni Award for Teaching to Dr. Della Stanley. Thank <laughs> you. 